morning. This is Arnie Waters here at Waters Capital in Boston, Massachusetts. The first thing I want to point out to you today is the price of spot uranium is rising. Uh, there is insufficient supply to meet the demand. Now this is a sign that something that we've told you all along, and I hate to say I told you so, and I'll stop saying it now. The demand for uranium increases. The price of uranium will go up. The supply of uranium is limited. There are very few new mines coming on stream. Reactor demand worldwide is such that it is quite predictable that uranium for spot delivery will be trading in excess of $100 sometime in the next six to nine months. Spot delivery is trading around 5350 Again, that's up from 51 of the other day, but it's quite significant because starting off the quarter, that indicates that demand has already begun to creep back up in a field of uh, finite supply. Uh, so uh, we're in, uh, just a sidebar. Of course, the contract price of uranium has not budged since the Fukushima events. It has not gone. It went from seventy-four dollars to seventy-three dollars. The long-term contract price, which is where it stays. Now. I also want to talk a little bit about gold. We keep talking about the supply of gold being finite, uh, looking forward a few years. In other words, uh, there, is the, 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 there are no new mines coming on stream to meet demand before 2015 or 2016. And many existing mines, particularly in South Africa, are getting more and more difficult to mine, and their output is decreasing. The European Central Banks have bought gold, They've bought in 635 tons of gold uh, since the first of the year. This is the first time since the creation of the Euro in 1999 the European Central Banks have been buyers of gold. Worldwide Central Banks continue to be buyers of gold. Now we think this is great for gold, but would give those who are more focused on stock markets and whatnot like that uh, uh, some pause. So we want you to focus on the fact that uh, European central banks and worldwide banks are now buying gold. As a consequence, this is another pressure on demand. So it's no wonder that we're seeing records. The, our legendary Fibonacci uh, files, Fibonacci calculations, uh, indicate that uh, the 1548, when gold crossed that, that was a very important moment in gold. So we got lots of good news on uranium and gold. Rare earths continue to uh, do very well. We want you to aim for the ice flows, not the open water, and have a super day. Thanks.